Hey guys, welcome to Toolsplit. So this is more of a revenge video at all those website hosting platforms that cause websites to get lost and never be found. I mean, never be found. It's interesting in 2021 that hosting companies do not give small businesses a second chance with these kinds of issues. You know what? I'm so upset and ended this video right now. Ah, uh, just kidding. Let's get into it. We host with GoDaddy and just doing a look up on toolspeed.com will give that away. The website was made in 2018, around the time this media channel started, you know, just to put our best foot forward, as a good number of channels in this space don't have a blog. Fast forward to 2021 and we missed the GoDaddy bill payment. Somehow, that notice was not picked by me. Just a week after missing the payment, the site was gone and we found ourselves arguing with a GoDaddy rep on live chat who said something along the lines of Unfortunately, once the hosting plan expires, the website cannot be recovered. Ever. This is when you remember all the labor invested in building the website and content just to, again, put our best foot forward. We're just so busy developing the channel that we didn't even take a screenshot of the website just to give it a proper memorial. Human error. Someone mistakenly clicks on the delete button and still mistakenly confirms the deletion. Or there is an irreversible override with outdated content. These are the folks who think they can do anything without approval, basically. Hackers. This could be from insiders but mostly outsiders. E-commerce websites or big sites like facebook.com will get hacked with thousands of customer information available for compromise. Don't let me get into how bad hackers get these days. Manual website storage. If you hate anything with clouds in them and physically store servers in your room like you run a bank, then good luck. Good luck. This was normal many years ago, not today. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. All right, so here's the situation. Wanix server over the course of the last couple of days has been spontaneously going offline and turning off. In spite of my best efforts to turn it back on, and complete the backup that I'm in the middle of trying to do to our new Unraid vault. While I was standing in front of it, I observed one of my raid controllers giving up the ghost. So also, issues with local host, which means a website draft on a local machine, can be very bad. Data transfer issues. This happens with websites switching platforms or servers. Databases content, images, and more can be lost by simply changing a website domain, let alone a full website switch over web server. This usually happens when there is no proper planning and contingency planning, since data transfer is not a bad thing. These issues will cost your business money, time, e-commerce revenue, and worst of all, your brand reputation. Although we don't have the stats on the number of reported cases of lost websites, we know you're watching this video because you've either been affected or know some business that have been affected or just maybe you want it to not happen to you. Think to the end to see our suggestions. Although we dropped the recovery idea with an opportunity to design a much better looking site, we still think these tips can help you, just in case. Credit to Flow Themes for one of the most detailed article guides on this segment of the episode. A link to the article is in the description below. Number 1. Find some lost content. Google search most times would index your website. What that means is there is sort of a Google register of your website on the web which is not permanent for a lost website. Using a Chrome extension called SEO Quick lets you download all web pages from a search result in CSV format. If you also got Google Search Console, an app that lets Google index your website quickly, then you can download a list of your URLs from their page reports. Number two view cached versions of pages. As you browse the web, your browser will store some details about the website, so next time you revisit, it feels a lot faster. This feature can also be used to find some lost websites. If you use Google Cache, just type the word cache, pull on your website URL on the search bar and hope your full website or some text is still available. The other method is with archive.org, which uses a Wayback machine to do the same thing. This was the very first thing we tried, but if you recall, it only gave us text, which we already had. Number 3. Check your computers. You will never know if there is a website backup somewhere or your website content is safely stored in some hard drive. Even by just checking your emails, you know, 
from those folks that love to say find attached you can recover lost content before we move on here's a mention from our sponsor the youtube like button nah no sponsors here we're just trying a fun way to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you've enjoyed what you've heard so far sorry we digress moving on this is the part you've been waiting for don't get too comfortable just yet if you've never experienced it and if you have it must never happen again or else backups and backups always make a monthly automated backup of your site's database settings and files no matter how big it becomes even the best hosting platforms can fail also store them in a hard drive you never share with anyone ever with backups restoration is very easy get an antivirus subscription to all you freebies out there pay for your antivirus also don't forget that your website needs an anti-spam plugin if not already available some website providers like shopify already have protection building so that's good if you need a better deep dive please check out our previous episode on top online business tools see the top right of your screen here the top 10 tools every business must have in 2021 from the call the new normal manage your website access properly in 2021 you still get business owners saying hey dude here is my password to get into the site no 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 nowadays every software service company has a means of granting access to people which means you can give people access to your website without sharing login details you can even limit their access which is where i am coming to don't give everyone the access level that allows them to take down your site invest in the right hosting company we will get better at this over time but having the right hosting company is just as important if you follow that story hit the companies that have the complete package host on a non-shared level deliver incredible support give you fewer server downtimes and most importantly offer a means to have two versions of your website sandbox site and a live site take pantheon or webflow or wix for example even if you miss a payment for your website it will simply be downgraded and that's it please tell us in the comments if we missed anything which is very possible because we are still very upset seriously please share this video and you might save someone's e-commerce business until next time take care